all of us are yeah. thinking about Wayne and Catherine, that's for sure. And tonight we're reflecting on Denise's life and we're also taking the time to remember her, whether it's the good advice she gave and she gave oh, yeah. so much yeah. good advice, a first memory we shared with her or how she drilled in us. And she always said this, nothing, nothing in the world is more important than family. And she just said that Friday when she was leaving here, uh, she looked at us in the newsroom and said, go home, relax, enjoy the weekend and just be with the ones you love, which is what she would say all the time. Uh, Channel 3's Courtney Zeller takes a closer look now. My favorite thing about her was when she'd walk into the newsroom and she would greet everyone by name. And I feel there's times where we don't do that or that tradition has kind of fallen by the wayside or she'd say goodbye to everyone by name and just the fact that she did it and she acknowledged you and she would look at you and say good morning Rebecca or good afternoon or have a good night Rebecca was so powerful and um, she did it with such grace and always she was I mean ever since I saw her she was like Princess Diana like she just was and um, even looking at pictures of her now or hearing her voice it's she's just even more magical I loved watching her watch stories um, because everyone at home is watching that story but she's in the in the studio watching as well and whether it was an emotional sad story or a happy story or no matter what it was she was invested you could always look over and see the look in her eyes and if it was emotional she maybe was she, she was a little teary or if it was happy you I'd hear her in the studio say oh my gosh that's so wonderful and it's amazing uh, it was amazing to watch her connect that way because you think sometimes that um, oh the anchors don't really care about the stories that are watching that's not the that's not uh, case they do care and you could really see it um, from this perspective uh, in the control room whenever I did a live shot yes. and she would get a kick out of it whether you know for whatever the, the crazy reason would be backyard barbecue or she'd send me an email Joe I just had to tell you loved it you're killing it keep up you know and coming you know and I mean I'm I should be her mentor but I'm listening to her and that feedback was always so valuable and important to me to get somebody who really knows what she's doing to give you that kind of a compliment. I started here in 2014 as a weekend reporter and I remember coming into the newsroom and she was one of the first people to say hello to me and I remember thinking to myself this is the Denise DeCenzo, this legend, this icon in this state and I couldn't believe she was taking time out to talk to me. Um, but I think that's who she was. She made time for everyone and she just made everyone feel so incredibly special. You know, Friday we had a lot of breaking news and she stayed late that night. She came over to us and she just wished, wished us a good weekend and you know, it, the last conversation I had with her was just such a nice one and she had such nice things to say mm -hmm. and I really appreciate that that instead of just walking out like some people would you know just leaving saying waving goodbye she came over and had a conversation with us before she left and had some really nice things to say and it really spoke volumes about her in general.